from the subreddit No Stupid Questions. Is America, USA, really that bad place to live? Is America really that bad with all that racism, crime, bad healthcare, and stuff? Depends on where. Most everyone's covered what I wanted to say, but you really start to feel the shit when you're living in poverty. Money's the answer to everything here. America is fucking huge, OP, and in this huge s country is a myriad of good and bad neighborhoods. Thanks for all of the happy cake day posts, dudes, and dudettes. And thanks for the awards too. I thank my mama for putting me on this earth to point out how huge some countries are. It's a great place to live, just an awful place to be poor. I'm actually on holiday in the US right now, and it has been great. The only issue I've seen is the dangerous amount of advertisements, and I fear no one actually hates each other, but the media manipulates people for media's benefit. Very happy here in California. I've lived in Denmark, UK, Austria, Thailand and the US. Every place has its share of assholes. The healthcare part is fucked across the entire country, but the rest of it is hit or miss depending on where you live. Immigrant here, now a US citizen. Came here for college and stayed. I've loved the USA from day one, love it still. Americans aren't perfect, but no other place I'd rather be. Grinning face with smiling eyes. No, it's not. The US is generally a pretty good place to live. If you're middle class or better it's great. It is generally unforgiving on people who don't make a lot of money though. It depends on where you live and how much money you make. If this is bad how we describe Africa and Mexico and Russia and China and Middle East? The news that gets reported is usually stuff that will grab people's attention. Normally that's the bad stuff. USA is like any first world country, there are crappy parts of UK, France, Germany, Australia and there are great parts as well. Of course not, in fact it's a great place to live, the things you listed aren't exclusive to America for the most part, don't really effective exist in the manner you're thinking, or are outright miscontexted. Crime-wise it really depends where you live. Vast majority of people are not racist. Healthcare is very expensive. No, but it does have the most sensationalist and manipulative 24-7 media, case in point. Compared to what? I wouldn't live anywhere else. I lean towards each state is really more its own country. Texas isn't California. New York isnt Iowa. Colorado isn't like Virginia. Where you go completely changes what it'll be like. The state you pick makes a huge difference. Difference healthcare, culture, politics, social structure, government laws and enforcement. I tell people don't research the US research the state. If you're financially well off and have no prolonged or severe medical issues then no. If you don't have stable income above the local median, don't have stable housing, or have any frequent or severe medical needs you'll experience anything from a severe downward spiral into destitution and crippling debt or an apparent happy stability that can be destroyed by even mild unexpected events like a broken bone, car breakdown, or layoff. No, Reddit had a hate boner for the USA. Largely it fucking rules living here. This subreddit should be called No Stupid Answers. The question is about living in the US and the top answer is from someone who doesn't even live there. No. We air our problems more than the rest of the world, so it seems like we have more of them. As a Navajo. We keep to ourselves and work. We work hard just like any other fool. We also vote and can impose our agenda if needed. Ask any contractor in Flagstaff how much the Navajo have had an impact on the construction trade in northern Arizona. To answer your question. The area you pitch your tent can be iffy. Depends on the community that surrounds you. It never used to be so divided. There's tension in the air like I've never felt. People are not far from. The beasts they they hunt. Like herd mentality. It depends. 
If your choice is between the US, Sudan or China, you'd want to take the Spain. If it's the US, France or Saudi Arabia, you'd want to take Sweden. It's all nice and rosy until you have a medical emergency, go to an ER and get a big whopping bill. The healthcare system for sure needs to be reconsidered. But racism and crime really depend on where you live, and sadly, also your skin color. Dot. There's a reason people in worse off countries risk their lives trying to get to America, people who wait 10 plus years going through the immigration process. America isn't perfect but the grass is always greener. Most people don't know how well they have it and just see the doom headlines. Most bad things you heard were said by either Europeans or self-hating Americans, I know this sounds like big or BS, but if you're an American OP, how's your life going? Yes, it's so bad people are dying to get in. Nah. And hash X200B. Far from perfect but nah. And hash X200B. It's mainly dweebs online just hoping on the hate America trend. They are not representative of real productive people in real life at all. Considering lots and lots of people want to still come live in America it obviously has some appeal. We have problems, some of them unique, but it's not nearly as bad as Reddit seems to make it. I think when people online compare America to other countries they are, let's be honest, comparing between the US and other developed Western democracies. I've spent time in plenty of developing countries that I would still rather live in the worst US state than be. Crime and racism varies wildly based on location. With healthcare and social services, food stamps, disability, etc., it varies some based location, but for the most part, it sucks no matter where you are. Still, if you're poor and have a disability of some kind, expect help to be especially hard to find in Republican-run areas, as there's little the American Christian right hates more than the poor and the disabled. No. Greatest country on earth. Source, I have a German passport and American passport have traveled to over 25 different countries. A little context, we have an election in 10 days. The party not in power is screaming as loud as they can that everything is terrible. Vote for them and they'll fix it. They won't. It's like this every year for every election no matter who's in charge. The political tone has been getting more frantic recently and journalistic standards are slipping. You shouldn't take what you see at face value. It depends on your financial status. If you have money, housing, healthcare, it's awesome. If you don't have one or two of those things, it's not so great. Honestly? It depends. It's such a huge country that some areas are better than others. As a poor, brown, disabled girl it's really not that great to live because I deal with a lot of discrimination and poverty, healthcare is shit and it feels like the country is only getting worse. But on the other hand, there's plenty of people who are living here who aren't dealing with any of that and are happy to be here. Depends on where you live in America. If you're poor and live in an expensive state, it could be bad. If you're middle class and live in Iowa, your life could be better. The US won't have illegal immigration if it's whack. The truth is, people love the US and are literally dying to get here. It's alright, not perfect. Ask anti-American fanatics and they'll fucking describe it like it's the worst country in history since Nazi Germany. But nah, it's not all that bad I like it here. As an American, yes. I'm sure for rich white people it's nice, but if you're a part of any marginalized community it's awful. No, but the American healthcare system is one that in part, exploits the infirm, lines the pockets of the unscrupulous. Studies have shown that fair access to health care for all promotes a far more prosperous population. The UK NHS is currently being reverse-engineered to follow the American model. Reverse-engineered, some would say, dismantled, again, by the unscrupulous. You have an institution designed to systematically put other races to jeopardy that either dumb them down, incarcerate them, give them just enough privileges to not raise an army, and literally kills them. And it's happening everywhere as an unwritten rule. I wish I could say this only happens in small, isolated areas, but no, it's a state machinery with the numbers to show for. 
I don't know a single person whose life wasn't massively shaped by the fact that their healthcare comes from their employer. Most people commenting are so used to it, they can't even have the perspective to realize how true that statement probably is for them too. That's kinda just one example of how pervasive said cultural differences are. Can one be happy in that system? Sure. Is it inherently dehumanizing and stressful? Fuck yes.